hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have p plus 4 whole square is equals to 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of p so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous root so uh, here uh, we solve uh, this problem in a very unique method and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here we uh, apply the nice algebraic formula into the left hand side and you know about that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so in the left hand side we have this is our a and this is our b so according to these two values of a and b we expand this square according to this formula so uh, after applying this formula we write here the left hand side of the above equation as first we have a square the value of a is p it will become p square plus this is 2 times of a b here our a is p and b is 4 plus b square so b is 4 square is equals to 4 only okay uh, so in the next step we need more simplifications here and it will be written as p square plus this is 4 times 2 becomes 8p and plus this 4 square is equals to 16 and here we move this 4 from right hand side to the left hand side this is positive 4 when we move into the left hand side it will becomes negative 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and here we add or subtract the like terms so we have this is p square plus 8p and 16 minus 4 becomes here 12 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here we need to break its middle term and you know that here we have this is our 12 so we need any two numbers whose product is 12 and whose sum is 8 so you see that this is 6 times 2 becomes here 12 and when we add 6 plus 2 you get here 8 so 6 and 2 uh, be the two uh, values uh, in which we can uh, divide here its middle term okay so that we write uh, this 8p as 6p plus 2p and this is our plus 12 is equals to 0 and now here we need to focus on the first two terms and from first two terms we will take common p and we get the remaining values are p plus 6 plus from here we take common 2 and we get the remaining values are p plus 6 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these terms involve p plus 6 so that we will take common p plus 6 from both of these terms and when you take common p plus 6 from here we get p only and plus when we take common p plus 6 from here we get 2 only and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write p plus 6 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write p plus 2 is equals to 0 so from this case we get the value of p is equals to minus 6 and from this case we get the value of p is equals to minus 2 so these are the two roots of the given equation which we get here from this method uh, and now in the next steps we need to verify that is both of these roots are solution or both of these two roots are extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is p plus 4 whole square is equals to 4 and in this side we will be verify p is equals to minus 6 and in this side we will be verify p is equals to minus 2 so here we verify both of these roots and at the last we uh, write here concluding about its solutions 
so first we substitute this value of p into the left hand side and you see that this is p plus 4 when you put it here it will become minus 6 plus 4 whole square is equals to 4 and here we need to uh, do all of the simplifications here and you have minus 6 plus 4 becomes minus 2 square equals to 4 and minus 2 square becomes 4 equals to 4 this shows that the value of p is equal to minus 6 is satisfied of a given question statement so p equals to minus 6 be the solution of the given equation and now we verify the second value of p so here we put this value of p into the left hand side and it will becomes minus 2 plus 4 whole square is equals to 4 and minus 2 plus 4 becomes plus 2 whole square is equals to 4 and we get 4 is equals to 4 this shows that the value of p is equals to minus 2 is also satisfied of a given question statement and now we will write here uh, the solution set uh, of this question so that uh, the solution set of the question is that because both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement uh, so both of these two values are the solution of the given equation so we have this is minus 2 and minus 6 be the solution set of the given question and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting